Hello there, everybody. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. I'm happy that you joined me today. It's pretty early in the morning, so I have to talk a little bit quietly. So I brought out the mic, but I wanted to tell you guys that today I'm going to do a little like self-care day. I have a massage appointment scheduled and I'm going to be making content for the brand as well. I'm so excited. Speaking of, this video is sponsored by Spectrum Pain Management. I have been going to them for almost a year, a little bit over a year, I think, and they have given me my life back. <laughs> Some of you may know, but not all of you know, I do have hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Although I don't have it as bad as like some other people, I do struggle with chronic pain and subluxations and a lot of joint issues. Chiropractic work and massage therapy have helped me so much, so I'm really excited that I get to partner with them today. You guys should head over to my Instagram and check out all the short form content that I'm going to be making today. That's where I post first and more frequently, so if you guys want to stay up to date real time, that's probably the best place to do so. The YouTube videos take a little bit longer to come out, so just so you guys know. But anyways, back on track with the video. Yes, today I'm gonna do a self-care day. And then afterwards, I have to edit just a little bit. But while I'm doing all of that, I'm gonna do a few self-care things, you know, face mask, tea, nice music, lo-fi. I love having an environment to kind of like chill in. But yeah, enough with the rambling. Let's get into these relaxation vibes. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day as well. And make sure to put yourself first and get a little self-care in, even if it's just 10, 15 minutes. It's very important. I'm gathering up my laptop and cords right here. So I'm prepared for the content day. Let's go. Hello everybody, I am back home and I got a ton of water because the best thing to do after a massage is drink so much water. You want to get all those toxins out of your body. So I'm going to take a couple gulps and y'all should take a couple gulps because I know we're probably a little less hydrated than maybe we should be. <laughs> That is so refreshing though. I'm just gonna get to editing really quick here. Oh, and I have some exciting news, but I can't fully tell you everything, but I'm gonna give you a little tidbit. 
I received a package. I keep saying it in my vlogs, but you guys should be prepared for 2024. There's so much coming. Uh, I wish I could tell you guys, but it would honestly ruin the surprise. And a lot of the stuff is still in the works. So I can't, you know, I can't talk about it because other people can't talk about it. So. I am okay with keeping the suspense, it makes it fun. What I can tell you is I am going to be showcasing my editing skills. And that's pretty much all I can say. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to stay tuned and find out the rest. <laughs> I'm gonna edit a little bit and then chug this glass of water and then I think I'm gonna make myself some tea. It's about 4 p.m. right now. When I first got home, I just laid down and relaxed for a little bit and I gave myself like two-ish hours to recuperate and now I'm getting back to editing. I just finished my little self-care routine and I lit all the candles. I got the mood lighting going and I am feeling so relaxed. Usually I would put on a lo-fi playlist for some ambiance, but tonight I was snooping around on Hulu and I found an old show that I used to watch all the time. I don't know if you guys remember Ghost Adventures, but that used to be one of my favorite shows as a kid. I'm very into the supernatural and the spiritual, so this was right up my alley as a child. I'm throwing a little nostalgia on my relaxation night and I don't know, I'm just, I'm just in a really good mood. I did try to redo my name and they just didn't come out very well so I ran out of nail polish remover slash glue remover gel nail polish remover and I am left with just a couple of nails left four to be exact so if you guys were bothered by them just know that I am also bothered by them. So tomorrow I will be going to the store and picking some more up. Okay, so the main purpose that I wanted to film this clip for was to kind of just dive in a little bit on why self-care is so important. Honestly, I've been kind of lacking on my own self-care, so I figured that there would be a couple other people out there who are kind of struggling with keeping the self-care routines up. Maybe we could talk about it a little bit, vent, you know, just kind of see where our minds go, I guess. I've been feeling just the slightest bit burnt out. I'm not fully there yet because I'm starting to notice the signs of burnout, so I'm trying to, you know, catch it before I fully fall into it. A lot of the time that has to do with my self-care routine and how well I am maintaining that. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely a self-care girly, a tranquil girly. I just thrive in peace. If I have a really good routine, then I am pr pretty capable of, you know, keeping my shit together. 
<laughs> everywhere else in my life. Obviously, I'm a human, so there are ebbs and flows to this dynamic. And right now, I really feel like I'm in an ebb. I've noticed when I put my full focus into work-related things that the rest of my life kind of falls by the wayside. And it has always been a goal of mine to find a really good balance for myself. That's something I want to focus on during the new year is really being aware of where I'm putting my focus and actually taking time out of the day to kind of schedule everything and be more aware of my time management. As time goes on, I really am appreciating that form of structure when I can kind of plan out my day a week ahead, a day ahead, even a month ahead. Like I am realizing that it really does help with the mental load of things. I used to be a person that just kind of like went on the fly and just kind of like figured it out but I realized that that was activating my adrenal fatigue and I felt like I was always in this fight or flight mode and never really thriving. It hasn't been until recently that I've been feeling like I have been thriving and obviously I'm not yet there, I would say, and I kind of just like slip back into old patterns. It honestly starts with the laundry. <laughs> I feel like I missed one day of laundry and then the rest of my entire structure just like went with it. This is your sign to do your laundry. I know you guys have a pile somewhere and comment down below if you don't and you're better than the rest of us <laughs> and you have all of your laundry done and folded and put away. Speaking of, I just did that so I'm feeling a little bit better, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna like vacuum and clean the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. I know after that I will feel so much better. I know that there's a couple of you guys out there who are kind of struggling with the same things or maybe even not even struggling but just starting to kind of feel the ebbs of life. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to sit down and chat with you guys. I've been kind of, I don't want to say like falling into a depressive spell because I've actually been really, really happy, but I really want to just blame it on my period because I get such terrible hormone dumps. It's not even funny. Girly pops, leave a comment down below. Let me know because I know you guys know what I mean when I say that. It's like a week or so before my period, I'll get these really massive hormone dumps where I'll either be extremely sad or super angry, maybe a mixture of both, and my skin freaks out which it's doing right now, hence why I did a nice little face mask and I got extra good skincare on today. I'm trying to nip it in the bud here. <laughs> so because of that, I am very aware of how my body responds to those types of stressors and I make sure to take care of my body and give it the things that it needs to make me feel good and to kind of also prep for the trauma that is a period. <laughs> I've been eating a lot of root vegetables and taking immunity supplements and teas and hormone regulating everything so I'm hoping that this makes me feel good the next time that I have my period. I find it very interesting when you introduce certain foods in different areas of your moon cycle and how great of an effect that it actually has on the flow of the next coming month or even like the next couple of weeks. I've said this time and time and time and time again, but food is medicine. It is one of our most powerful tools of healing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Sorry if it cut off kind of short. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you're notified of when I post a video. All right guys, I'll see you later. Bye.